Hi everybody, I just wanted to uh, do a quick tutorial on how to use Twitter for professional development. And I know many of you might be thinking, Twitter, what am I going to use this for? It's just for like people talking about what they ate for dinner last night or um, really silly things. But I found that it's a really, it's been a really useful tool for me and it's been really great for me to learn about lots of different things um, with technology and working using new technology in my classroom. So I'm going to show you how to use just some of the basic things in Twitter and I've only been using this for about a month, uh, maybe a little bit less, a couple weeks and so I'm not an expert by any means but if you have any questions I can more than, I'd be more than happy to help you figure them out. So the first thing you want to do is get a Twitter account. So go to twitter.com, sign up, and this is the page that you'll see when you go to home. Uh, and what I have here is a feed of all of the things that I'm, all the people that I'm following. So each of these um, people, NOAA, uh, EdWeek.com, Education Week, these are all things that um, are people out there that are posting information. And most of the time when people are tweeting something, they're, they're giving you information on a specific article that's out on the web or a link to a website so that you can um, sort of go to a, a new topic. Um, so just to, as a side note, um, I'm working on a desktop here. So if you're working on your uh, iPad, you should probably go to a desktop because it'll look more like this and you can do a few more things on the desktop version than you can on the Apple version, the iPad version, but I don't usually um, use the desktop version. I'm, I'm usually just reading these uh, tweets when I'm um, watching TV or something. I can just check them quick. Um, the other thing that is really significant about this, other than or aside from email um, or different from email, is that um, this is a really low pressure way to get information. Um, if I don't check this for two or three days, it's not a big deal. Uh, I just don't read all the tweets. I'm not, I don't have this pressure like email where I have to respond to something or I have to look at it. If I miss it, I miss it. It might come back. Um, if, if it's really interesting, somebody else might retweet it and I'll, I'll get it. But if I miss it, I miss it. I'm not going to worry about it. And that's the nice thing that I found about um, this. It's a really low pressure way to find information every now and again when I'm ready for it. I can go through the list and, and see what's there. So uh, just to give you some of the background on, on what Twitter is, just as a very basic thing, um, th this little cheat sheet, and I'll attach the, a link to this so that you can um, go back to it. The at symbol is sort of like your username, and it, it goes in front of whatever your username is. And when you're looking to find somebody in particular, you'll use this at symbol and their username to uh, find them uh, in the search box. A tweet is just just that. It's just information um, in uh, 140 characters or less, and it's information that's put out there, and this information is out there for anybody to find. So whether they'll find it or not, depending on how you uh, post it, is one thing, but this information is out there, so don't put anything, obviously, personal in, in these unless you want everybody to know it. Um, a retweet is when you find something or somebody tweets something to you, and you retweet it, you tweet it yourself and you put it out there to people that are following you. So people can find you and if they like the information that you put out there then they might be following you and, and they would um, get any tweets that you put out there. I don't tweet. I put maybe one or two things out there since I've um, since I've been using it. So there's no need to, to feel like you have to put anything um, out there. I only have, I think I have one follower and I'm not too worried about that um, and I think it's, it's just a spammer. So um, the follow button is a, is a good thing to know and I'll show you that. If you find somebody that is putting out information that you like when you're doing some searches, you would click on that and then anytime you go to the home page, their, whatever they post, whatever they tweet will be put out, um, will be come up on your feed so that you can see what they're, what they're saying. This hashtag or the pound symbol, um, it's called a hashtag and it's used to um, to search or to sort of define a keyword so if I'm looking for something on rocks or igneous rocks for that matter um, what I would do is I would search with the hashtag 
and then whatever co text comes after it, if somebody has put this same hashtag and word in a tweet, it will pull up any tweets that are out there that have that particular um, combination of the hashtag and the words. If I wanted to find hashtag igneous rocks, I would have to leave out the space. It'd have to all be one long string of characters. So you have to be conscious of that. It's just what's after the hashtag. If you put a period there, it ends the search there. So that's what you'll be searching for. Um, verified accounts, uh, unless you're going to be tweeting a lot it's something, and having people follow you, it's something that you don't really have to worry about. And if you want to start up a conversation with somebody, uh, ask them a question about something that they posted, you, all you have to do is um, send a message using their app and their handle and send them a tweet and, and they'll get it and then they can respond to it. So that's just sort of a very quick down dirty um, what, the, what I'm going to be referring to um, with this. Now these are all the things that I've, uh, these are all things that I'm following uh, in terms of some things are earth science related, a lot of them are education related. A good place to start is Education Week or Edutopia and you can see their at symbol and just start going up here and looking for things. So if you want to look for, I'm doing a unit on minerals right now in rock, I might do um, hashtag minerals and I hit enter. And what will come up are any tweets that are out there that reference that, um, that series. So you can see I'm going to get a lot of various things. So this person's into food and healthcare. Uh, check out this at nutrition. So if I had searched for nutrition with this hashtag, it would have this same tweet would have come up. And some people put more than one of these hashtags in there, so that m multiple searches would pull up their tweet. And again, he's trying to get you to go to this website. So what you'll what you can do is search for your area of study. I I when I was first starting this, I was looking for earth science and different things came up. And what that'll allow you to do is find a um, an organization or a person that might have information that you know you want. So I'm going to go back here just to show you what I mean. If I go back to my home, and sorry my computer connection is, my computer is a little slow and my connection is a little slow, but if I look down here at uh, this Edgy week, education week. Um, if I click on them, their profile will come up, and it says that I'm following them. And if I go to their profile, what will come up is any of the things that they're tweeting. They have 33,000 tweets, and they have 120,000 followers. So I could see who they are following. If I click on this, it'll show me what people they're following. It'll also show me I could see who's following them and I could see what things they're saying. So if you don't know if you want to follow somebody, what you can do is go to click on their uh, profile page and then look through some of their tweets and see what, what they've written or who's following them. And you might find somebody that's in here that, that would be really interesting, like this uh, Department of Education. Um, looks like Hawaii's Department of Education. If you want to follow them, all you would do is click follow and now I'm following them. If I decided, oh wait, I don't really want to follow Hawaii's um, education, I just click it again and it'll ask me if I want to unfollow them and so it just eliminates it. So it's as easy as that to follow or unfollow people. You just click on that follow uh, button. Another thing that uh, is interesting about this that is helpful when I'm reading through the tweets and I'm sort of flipping through, I see something that might be interesting. I don't really feel like looking at it right then. I might look at this and I'd say, oh, that's something that I want to look at. But the problem is, you know, you can see just while we're sitting here, a couple tweets have come in. So it'll get buried if I don't, if I don't do something. So if I hit favorites, it'll save into my profile as something that I want to look, go back and look at. So if then I go back to come back in a week, come back in a couple days, I go to my 
own personal page on here, I'll see over here on the left my favorites, and that will take me to anything that I've uh, saved over time while I'm looking through things. And there it is, and now I can go back to it. Um, the other thing that I've noticed or I've found through this, which was, has been pretty amazing, are these uh, webinars that people put on. So they put on a webinar, it's sort of like a video chat, you're not communicating with them necessarily, but they'll post on a website and you can listen to the audio and it's a conversation of educators talking about how they're doing things in their classroom. And they have these events that they put on and this one's going on tonight at um, 6 to 7 central. So 7 o'clock tonight after my daughter goes to sleep, I'll probably sit down and watch it for half an hour or an hour if I like it. And just gets me some more ideas, some other ideas to, to do that. So this person uh, is somebody that I hadn't followed before. And so I, I see that. I see him. It's somebody that I might be interested in, in following. So I'm going to follow him. And it's, it's as easy as that. So really, those are some of the basic mechanics of how to, how to do this. You can, you can look at um, some of the more popular uh, Twitter accounts and posts if you want. That usually is over here on the left hand side. You can see some of the trends. These are things that are being, these hashtags are things that are being tweeted a lot about. I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff. I just really focus on flipping through some of these things that I see and they've really given me a lot of information for uh, the classroom. Uh, when you open this up, you can see that um, here is a link to some, an article that these these people have put out there. And you click on it, it takes you right to it, and you can you know read it, you can retweet it, you can save it, you can copy and paste it to an email, uh, all those different things. So it's been a really great. I think it's been a really great thing for me. Uh, and I hope that it will work out well for you. If you have any questions about um, where to go, uh, how to search, feel free to email me and I can try and narrow down your search parameters a little bit. But really, once you start searching, it's pretty intuitive. It's sort of like searching on Google. Uh, so just have at it. Give it a shot. Um, and you'll be amazed at what you can find out there. So I hope this was useful. And if you do have any questions, just let me know. Have a great one.